Better a person honor their profession than be honored by it. Jean Eugène Robert Houdin, legendary watchmaker, magician, illusionist, and father of modern day magic. The following are 12 amazing facts about this legend. For a bite sized, nutrient dense biography, as well as another success quote from this legend, click the link in the description below. Number 1. His original name was Jean Eugène Robert. It was only after he was married to Joseph Cécile Houdin that he hyphenated his own name to hers to become Robert Houdin. Number 2. Robert Houdin originally intended to become a watchmaker. However, by accident, he received the wrong books. Instead of books on clockmaking, he received a two-volume set on magic called Scientific Amusements. Number 3. Robert Houdin began constructing magic equipment for his own use on stage instead of selling it to others, as in the case of his acclaimed writing and drawing automaton, which was eventually sold to P.T. Barnum. Number 4. He invented many tricks for his theater. But one of his more famous tricks was the light and heavy chest, where he used electromagnetism at that time in its infancy to his advantage. In this trick, he would ask a small child to lift the chest. The child did so with ease. Then he would bring up a very strong adult audience member to lift the same box. With the electricity engaged, the strong man was unable to lift the box, amazing audiences wherever he went. Number 5. Many of Robert Houdin's inventions were used by his competitors after they were stolen by his trusted mechanic, Legrand. Even after Legrand was arrested for making duplicate illusions, Robert Houdin's competitors still used the pirated inventions in their performances. Number 6. In 1848, King Louis Philippe was forced to abdicate the throne after an uprising. This revolution also effectively ended show business in France. Robert Houdin shut down his theater and went on tour to England. Despite other competing French magicians using his pirated versions, Robert Houdin was still very successful. In fact, he did a command performance for Queen Victoria. Number 7. In 1856, Napoleon III was worried about Muslim leaders in French Algeria able to influence and control regional tribes with their faux magical powers. The religious leaders wanted the tribal chiefs to break ranks with the French. Napoleon III sent Jean Eugène to show that French magic was stronger. Through a series of shows designed to confuse and amaze the tribal chiefs. Number 8. Once in Algeria, Robert Houdin gave many special galas before the country's tribal chiefs. He used the previously mentioned light and heavy chest illusion to bewilder his audiences. He also invited one of the rebels to shoot him with a marked bullet, which Robert Houdin caught between his teeth. In awe, Bou Alem, the head of the tribe of the desert interior, gave Robert Houdin a certificate praising his mysterious manifestations and re-pledging their loyalty to France and stopping a potential rebellion. Number 9. In 1966, Robert Houdin's home in Blois, France was converted into a museum and theater. It's the only public museum in Europe that incorporates collections of magic and a site for the performing arts. Number 10. Legendary illusionist Harry Houdini was so impressed by Robert Houdin's autobiography that he changed his given name from Eric Weiss to Harry Houdini, adding the I to Houdin after incorrectly believing that adding an I at the end of the name meant like in French. Number 11. Robert Houdin still continues to inspire generations of modern magicians. In fact, many cities in Europe have streets that bear Robert Houdin's name, including Blois, Paris, Saint Etienne, and Monticciano in Siena, Italy. Number 12. 
Jean Eugène Robert Houdin is considered amongst the greatest illusionists and magicians of all time, as well as the father of modern day magic. SuccessfulDailyHabits.com Be legendary.